Jasper asks, hi, so this, so I have been tasked with a job to create an online gallery with a search engine. So if someone types in three descriptive words, it comes up with images related to that search. I know it has to do with metadata, but as how to do it, I have absolutely no idea. If anyone can help, it'd really be appreciated. So I did put a link in there to one of the kind of a basic scenario that it doesn't quite cover everything, but it does fit to some degrees using the, you know, the content message web part, right? It's an old school ish web part. It does provide the ability to, you know, present images and provide filtering on images and filtering is a key thing here. I think with respect to the keywords he wants to use a uh, question about attaching the metadata to the image itself. Well, it depends on a couple of things. Number one, where the image is stored. If they're stored in a SharePoint library, you can add metadata as list list columns, right? It's easy. That's the easiest, most simplest way to do it. And they, by default, become searchable. Um, if it's a repository that's somewhere, maybe a, a blob storage or a, you know, a, a file share that's got this data in it, then they're going to have to embed the metadata in the image themselves, in the actual metadata of the file which there are various ways to do it. There's various tools to do it. If it's, you know, high res marketing imaging, you're going to get a lot of embedded details in there based off the photograph itself that, that the camera will provide. Um, but additional metadata can be added with them. There's a variety of tools to do that. Image management tools. I'm not an image management person, but I know they're out there. No, you put your, you being quiet, you put your name down on that one. I wanted to know how to do it. <laughs> so I, I, went I, the I have no answers. I just have questions. <laughs> yeah. uh, I went with the assumption that the images were in SharePoint. Is it a single column with tags and that's how you get it yeah. searchable? Is that well, what we're talking about? There's tags and then there's the description field that everybody ignores in SharePoint. They skip by it because it's not required. And that I always say it's it's um, everything in Office 365 or M365 is searchable. It's our job to make it findable. And to make it findable, you have to add metadata, keywords, and descriptions, right? And if you use a, a picture library as your the basis of your SharePoint library, it provides additional fields other than just the document library of like who created it when it was modified and all that. It'll say what's the subject of the picture, what's the location, and then you can expand on that if you need to add additional stuff too. Yeah, it's lesson lesson learned. If anybody that's on the marketing side has done any degree of SEO and going in around your blog or website, again, you know, making sure that there's metadata, there are tags, there are descriptions on everything. It, it improves the overall searchability and performance of the external website. So the same rules apply for internal. Yeah, and then you can create a custom search center too for specific images in your um, environment. So that might be another option as well. Got to keep feed that, feeding that marketing machine, right? <laughs> That's right. Well, we we have a I have a client that there's a whole communications department, and of course they have paid for and downloaded and have all of the um, stock images that they want to make available to everybody in the organization, but they're not going to create. A library so their communication site we created an entire SharePoint site that's just for those images so people can go it's like a media center for them logos you know approved logos colors their branding guide all of that goes in it's a marketing center of excellence basically pretty cool if you're big on branding you have to do that yeah mm -hmm. some companies are like branding branding it better be this exact color right so <laughs>